Hey, hey, hey guys, it's good to see us back on this YouTube channel. And it's always good to see us back on this YouTube channel. And you, as you can see in the video title, today we are going to speak about Ethereum 2.0 and what kind of changes uh, we can expect for us as the miners for Ethereum 2.0 launch, which is happening very soon. It is happening on 1st of December, uh, just in a few days uh, from the time of this video. Um, so we have secured the, the, the Ethereum 2.0 launch. It might not mean much um, as a current state of the launch because it will be launched in the mul multiple phases and phase zero is only launching in uh, 1st of December, which is only a beacon chain. So basically a side chain which will be uh, used for testing purposes. It won't affect mining currently at all in the current launch phase, which is phase zero, but it will definitely affect you and me and everyone else in the nearest future where to where it's planned to fully launch Ethereum 2.0 in the next two years or so. So Ethereum will have currently its biggest upgrade uh, until Ethereum was launched in uh, 2015. Its biggest upgrade because um, you know, the consensus algorithm will be changed on Ethereum and also there are a few other changes will be implemented. This has been planned um, since Ethereum launched, you know. As much as I like Ethereum in the current state where it is secured with the proof of work algorithm, which is basically our mining with our GPUs, and it, it, Ethereum 2.0 will make obsolete uh, these, you know, changes. So basically it will be implementing proof of stake, which is, um, you know, mining just with your Ethereum. All of you who are using Ethereum a lot um, knows how painful is the high gas fees, high transactions fees. You know, it's, it's because everyone is fighting for a block space on Ethereum and there's only a limited amount of transactions can be done on Ethereum. So this increases as more and more users there are on Ethereum, as more and more transactions are trying to be processed on Ethereum, the transactions fees are getting skyrocketed because everyone is fighting for the block space and whoever pays the most fees uh, will the transaction will be executed uh, for them so this is the biggest change which will happen which will occur on ethereum uh, changing consensus algorithm so currently we are running proof of work where we securing the network with the mining rigs so when we invest the capital in the mining rigs so and we use these mining rigs to secure the network. In a reward, we are getting Ethereum, um, where in proof of stake you will have, you will need a minimum 32 ETH to launch a validator node. So you basically will need to run software 24 seven to secure the network. And you are, you know, securing this network with a capital 32 ETH. And you basically will receive the same mining rewards as you're now getting um, mining re rewards from the mining rigs. You will get the same um, you know, mining rewards from your, you know, from your capital. You know, it's basically the same thing. You invest the capital in mining rigs, you invest the capital in, um, in the, the uh, Ethereum, you buy Ethereum and you stake that Ethereum. So the proof of stake has been out uh, for a while already. It's nothing new. Um, Ethereum has been speaking about the proof of stake since they launched their network into 2015 and we're trying to implement this upgrade uh, you know, for the last few years already. But finally, we seen that we have agreed consensus and the Ethereum 2.0 is launching. And you, know, you want it or not, it will happen. So the other thing which will make this possible will be integrated, which is called sharding. I will try to explain this in my own words, what I mean by sharding. Uh, and as far as I understand, so basically, you know, the sharding is like um, a country, you know, where Ethereum 2.0 is the, the you know, the, the country, the government. And then the, the, the shards are like a states um, divided the country, which makes the country to functional more efficiently. So this is the same thing here where, you know, when Ethereum 2.0 will launch, so Ethereum basically will stay in the one of the shards, which will be one of the states. Uh, as Ethereum we know in the current state. I think the Ethereum 2.0 staking won't be for everyone because it's quite pricey um, because you need 32 ETH to have a one validator. Um, like in currently on, you can start mining Ethereum with one graphics card, you know, 300 euro or so, where onboarding on Ethereum 2.0 is 
a lot more expensive and also riskier like if your mining recurrently is offline you don't lose anything you just lose the mining rewards which you potentially would have if your mining rig was on but on ethereum 2.0 if you have a validator and if your validator is offline you are basically uh, penalized which is i think called slashing so you basically there's eth is being deduct deducted uh, from your mining rig you know from your 32 eth so when do we really expect the ethereum 2.0 launch and affect the mining Mining currently won't be affected at all with a phase zero launch. It's, phase zero is only for testing purposes, as far as I understand. And, uh, you know, it seems like it's still uh, very far in the future for fully functional E2.0, which is expected probably in the two years. So there's still a good bit of mining um, ahead, but you have to probably start thinking about what you're gonna mine after then, what you're gonna do with your mining rigs when Ethereum 2.0 launches. So currently it's only phase zero is launching on 1st of December. Uh, the next one is I think it's here Ethereum 1 phase zero, which is basically will be hybrid, uh, one block proof of stake, and then 60 blocks um, a proof of work, and then 1.5, and then 2.0, a phase 2.0 will be fully functional uh, Ethereum 2.0, where basically, you know, the mining rig I won't be in such form as we currently know it. So I will be trying myself also the E2.0 validator and probably will update this on, on this YouTube channel, how to set it up, how to maintain, you know, will I get penalized? Uh, will I get some mining reward from it? Because the profitability seems quite nice currently, you know, the profitability goes down if more and more Ethereum has been deposited Ethereum 2.0 um, staking contract, you know, as more as more Ethereum is staked, the, the percentage APY is going down. So currently, if only 524,000 uh, Ethereum is staked, which was the minimum to launch the Ethereum 2.0 beacon chain, and 524,000 Ethereum was successfully deposited into the uh, Ethereum 2.0 staking contract, and it's a little bit more that it's close to 820,000 Ethereum already. So if more and more Ethereum has been deposited and the more and more validators has been launched for ethereum 2.0 the mining rewards basically go down and if there's less and less the mining rewards you know the, the biggest i think it's uh, 20 percent um from your 32 eat uh yearly there's also very big downside uh, for launching your ethereum 2.0 validator now just because it is one way ticket if you are sending your current ethereum to ethereum 2.0 it's one of a ticket because you won't be available to redeem your ethereum in the next few two years until the eat 2.0 is fully launched only then you will uh, possible to retrieve your ethereum and i think it's a big downside because it could potentially have a big hit on ethereum price when ethereum 2.0 launches because there will be a lot of uh, Ethereum unlocked, which all will be deposited in the Ethereum contract, and also the staking rewards on top of that. So, if you are here for uh, price speculation, you know it's definitely not for you. It's only for here if you are a big Ethereum believer, uh, if you like what Ethereum is doing, if you like if Ethereum is changing the financial uh, industry, uh, if you really do believe Ethereum. So, this is I think it's only then for you. Of course, I have seen there's many kind of different services, which is basically will offer you tokenized stake. So you deposit your Ethereum to Ethereum 2.0, and in that you receive, in return, you receive uh, some tokens, which will be equal to your stake on Ethereum 2.0. And you can use those tokens, um, you know, you can trade these tokens on current Ethereum 1.0 chain. You can, you know, lend these tokens, you can borrow, um, you know, you can do all the other things what you can do with the other ERC20 tokens currently. I, I will be very sad that Ethereum mining will finish as its current form. But it, also, Ethereum has learned me a lot about blockchains, about Ethereum itself, about the need of such kind of blockchain in the current financial industry. Because I'm using Ethereum day, on a day-to-day basis, you know, I'm doing lending, I'm doing borrowing, I'm doing trading on-chain. You know, and you can do that, all these things 
without any third parties uh, involved in this. So you can do this directly from your MetaMask, directly from your Ledger wallet, um, quite securely interacting with uh, smart contracts on Ethereum blockchain. And I know how painful is the transaction fees sometimes, some days when the Ethereum blockchain is used a lot. And it seems like it's still far away two years and we'll still have a lot of time for mining uh, left. But I think you need to think to start prepare uh, for Ethereum 2.0 launch and start to think what you're going to do with your mining rigs uh, in the future, what you will mine else or you will sell your mining rigs. Maybe a good idea would be sell your mining rigs and buy, buy more Ethereum coins or mine Ethereum currently and then maybe mine Ethereum Classic or, you know, it's still far away in the future. Uh, and the, potentially there could be another maybe successor which has proof of work where you can use or your mining hardware and potentially could be uh, profitable more mining for another few years. I believe that blockchains has started financial revolution, revolution and Ethereum has a big part of it. And this kind of upgrade to proof of stake, which potentially will be more efficient, uh, could do more transactions, could uh, you know increase the uh, transaction speed. Um, I do believe that this maybe upgrade is needed and I was aware of that since the day Ethereum launched and I, I was aware of that when I got involved myself in Ethereum mining. Um, of course I will be very sad to see the mining go as it is in current form in the proof of work. So I hope this video was helpful to you and helped you understand um, how Ethereum 2.0 will affect mining, how it will be implemented, um, what to expect from Ethereum 2.0, are you going to set up Ethereum 2.0 validator, you know, what kind of risks you have. I hope this was helpful to you. I, I, as I said before, I will be uh, trying to set up Ethereum 2.0 validator and I will document this on, on, on this YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, comment down below what you think about Ethereum 2.0, what are you will be doing with your mining rigs, what are you expecting from 2, Ethereum 2.0. And don't forget to hit that like button on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Mine hardcore or don't mine at all.